I have to say that looks wild on camera. So like anything, we have a box that we, I just cut random pieces of vinyl. So there's white, like right here, all different shapes. There's gray. Joey's gonna start there and we're just gonna pretty well wing it. So uh, we don't know what it's gonna look like. We're just gonna, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> we're just gonna hope for the best. Yeah. So we're not rappers. So uh, obviously uh, this might not be the right way, but it's gonna be our way. So let's have some fun with this. Okay, so Joey's plan is to do most of one color at a time. So we're gonna do the whole side gray and then we'll jump to the white and then we'll jump to the green. So he's being very fussy, which is a good thing. And uh, he's the one that's gonna start it. So the first piece is on. Again, it's, I think it's gonna look freaking sick when it's done. Cause you have the carbon fiber eyelid going here. Once those lights are resealed, the, the retrofits. So you get the carbon fiber lip against the carbon fiber hood. Now you guys heard it first, we do have carbon fiber door pieces coming and a carbon fiber wiper cap. You have to love people on Facebook, door pieces, so just the upper skirts and the wiper cow 150 Canadian. I almost think it's a scam. Yeah, that's I got my tracking already, so. But then it's you again, so. Yeah, we're also talking to the same guy that paid $300 for viper seats. Or she would be fucking ass. It was a year ago, two days ago, it came up on my timeline that I bought those seats. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it has to be like every color on every panel, but I think it, I think it looks fine the way you have it right now. Yes. We got the gray on the driver's side so far. I'll show you guys. So we are learning as we go, which is probably normal in this kind of situation. So you see, got a little bit of gray, got some gray and up and around. So our next color is gonna be white. And we're gonna do the bumpers last. And uh, so it's white, we'll do white across. And then we're gonna place some green on it as well. Now we did learn something or I did learn something is I bought regular vinyl that I use for my vinyl plotter, which isn't the same as a vinyl wrap. It's not as stretchy. So it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be better than most people I'm going to say that do it at home. Hopefully it's going to look good. I think either way. And then they come out here and it looks like I own a freaking junkyard. Like still cars on that side cars inside and cars inside you guys want to buy a car hit me up So you see Joey is rooting through a box. I literally was just cutting some vinyl in all different shapes and sizes. So uh, just trying to get a head start just in case, uh, you know, save cutting each piece individually. So you are seeing we are using a water method as well. We started not to, but we're finding the water and a little bit of heat helps a lot. So we went with flat white because, well, why wouldn't you? That looks, looks good. Flat white looks good. Subtle. I don't think there's anything subtle with this car. No, but I mean, the car itself. <laughs> it hurts the ears. No. I wish you guys could actually get the experience when you come onto this car because it literally hurts your ears. Okay, so now what? More white? Are you going to the door? Are you uh, going down there? I think I'm going to skip the little tiny pieces first. Until the end. Um, I'm going to put a small green piece here. 
maybe a small piece here. I don't know. We'll have to do a white section here somewhere and then leave a spot for green. A little piece of white or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. To, uh, gotta keep that balance, but. So instead of you guys watching us over and over and over again doing this, we're gonna be back when uh, we got some white laid and then we'll come back, show you, we'll, and then we'll do a little bit of green and we'll show you. Um, I don't think you guys are gonna watch us, obviously, a whole bunch of us talking fast and jumping around fast. Uh, fast forward, so we'll be back. Okay, so we are gonna wrap this piece over top of the gray piece, just because it gives us a better curve and it doesn't look like we're just putting pieces everywhere. So we don't know if it's gonna work out and how much it's gonna show. Like obviously you're overlapping something. So we're just doing it to see if it's really noticeable and if it is. That's really all you're gonna see is that. I don't edge. think it's that bad. I mean unless you're looking for fucking stupid shit, you're gonna see it. Like we don't have to do every piece that way, but it, it gives it more of a contour that it's certain spots to be able to get away with it. I think that flat, I, I said it before, but that flat white looks. It does. Yeah. After buying that green stuff, man, the actual proper car wrap, they said it was $100 for two yards. Yeah. Now I know why, but it's 3M. It's, yeah. it's good stuff. It's good stuff, yeah. Shout out to YST Auto. That actually looks good because the, the, the goes right in up yeah. there. I put it right. So that looks, that looks sharp, actually. Yeah. So that's that. It actually went on pretty easy. Yeah, we'll come back over it a couple times, imagine. But. Well, once we get it outside, we can take the extension cord and the heat gun. Yeah. Go over the edges, see what it looks like outside. Once we take it outside, we're going to realize how bad we fucked up. <laughs> I suck at beefing things out. You realize that. <laughs> this video is now making five cents. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of 25 cents. <laughs> okay, so we just wanted to show you that. We're going to continue on with the laying out some vinyl all right so now as you see guys we're working on the green and i do have to say you can notice a huge difference using the proper vinyl <laughs> so this piece was put on not even wet and by hand and didn't even use a spatula and it just went on so we'll show you on this piece we might have to make it a little smaller yeah we're gonna have to because it's gonna take up it's two in your face and there's these two are big and overlap so we have to do some fine adjusting all right, so then grab the, just well, right there, just like that. I can't, this is just because it's going to look it though. All right, so then cut, trim it. You just trim it. section here and you start having to fill in holes. I wouldn't even put a section there. Then just trim this down then. Come down here and leave that black and black down there. Yeah. You have the knife, just trim whatever. And then we'll just put the... We'll just put the uh, scrap in the box. So if we need a small piece for the bumper or somewhere. You want me to hold it when you're cutting it? It's better to cut with you got a little bit of uh, tension on it. I like the idea of trying to get a little bit on that fender, you know, it's only like an inch or two, like right there. You don't have to go overkill, but yeah, something like that. Just helps ties in the bottom of the fender, right? This is where everything gets really difficult. And not making it too well, cluttered. Just put it down some, slide it down, and we'll just trim around that side skirt and leave it. That way the bottom of the side skirt's gonna be carbon anyways, right? At least a little bit of overlap makes it look good on the fender though too. It might look good. Just stand back here and look for a second. Yeah, yeah it's fucking pretty <laughs> sick. Yeah, it doesn't need to be much. That looks good. Okay, so like I was saying, guys, you can see how easy this goes on compared to. Like, that's crazy. If I would have knew the difference of this, I would have bought white and gray and be fucked up, it's just yeah like that's that's crazy 
Attempt. Mind you, it was, you know, it is expensive because it's good quality. If I ever do it again, I'll do it that way. But the plan is to rock this for like two years with this vinyl on it. And then I'll worry about painting it. I want to do that grease off later. So he's just going right down to the side skirt down there. As you see, it's a, a, it's a sharp edge. We're going to end up cutting that because we have carbon fiber side skirts going on there. Except for on this one, if you want to put it over onto that. What do you think of the green? Not too much. Cut it and then do its thing. Yeah, I, to, I just gotta make sure I got the right line. I just stick it in and just keep it pushed in. You ain't gonna hurt the paint. See, that's the only thing I'm scared of. Like what? Off course like that. I'm no professional. And then just cut the bottom piece off. I had to go down. That way you can see if you can get in behind. That looks cool on camera. What's that? The bottom piece? I think it. You can take it right off though. So as you see guys, we're gonna continue our way around. We're gonna come back, we're gonna do a little, a little bit of green. Then we're gonna do the bumpers, so. We're not doing up here, because I do have vent visors going here, which should look kind of nice and uh, functional, what we're going for. But so far, if you stand back, it uh, looks pretty cool. Okay, so Joey's peeling the back piece off, just we didn't like the way it looked. The curve that went down looked really weird. So we're gonna peel it off. We're gonna start, put another piece there. And uh, we got a piece of white taped up just to see what it would look like. It's not looking too bad. I have to say that looks wild on camera. Okay guys, so as you see, the driver's side is done. Uh, like I mentioned before, the bottom door skirt, where you'll see obviously like right down here where there's a black piece, that's going carbon fiber, so we didn't wrap that because why would we want to cover up the carbon fiber? So once they come in the mail, they'll be going on. Same with the wiper cow. So, wow, just stand back and it just looks awesome we haven't done the bumpers yet so we brought it down to bring it across we haven't done the back side which we will be doing and then we're starting on this side as we speak and the poor dirty civic truck sitting there so what we're going to do now is start on the other side we did put let me show you so we did put a carbon fiber hood on this at the same time so once we're done, I will put the emblem here. We got the carbon fiber fog light covers with new fog lights, carbon fiber headlight covers. But we're gonna take our retrofits apart because they're starting to fog up. So we're gonna take them apart, reseal them, put a new relay kit in this so the HIDs work the way they're supposed to and uh, have some fun. So Joey is now on this side, which there's no point of you guys watching that. We'll come back when this is all said and done with, and then we'll walk you through what we did guys. Okay, as you guys see, it's actually quite bright. Looks nice, I'll walk you around it. The front rear bumper isn't done yet. The carbon fiber fog lights nor the eyelids are on. And then we do have a couple spots for the uh, window guards, like the vent guards, we're putting them on as well. So let me show you. God, that looks cool. All right, so again, the top skirt that's black is going carbon fiber. And the back bumper is not done yet. So we will be tying the two pieces together. 
That's why the tail light isn't in yet. I think it looks cool. Okay guys, we're gonna finish up the SRT and uh, I did wash, wax, and we put headlights in the Civic truck. Okay guys, we're gonna leave it at that. The GoPro didn't record for some odd reason, but as you see, the SRT is done. It is looking sharp. Make sure you follow along with our other builds, guys, right up here on the screen. We have our Civic truck and our restoration to our NYG ACR.